Hello everyone, Racetime911 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add beacons to your vehicle in Farming Simulator 17. So let's get right to it. So to get started, you're going to need a model for a beacon, and one of the easiest ways to get this is to go to the actual game directory because they have a bunch of already made beacons there that you can use, a whole bunch of different styles. So to get to that, you're going to go to your C drive, program files times A6, and depending on where you've installed the game, I got it on Steam, so it'll be at Steam, Steam Apps, but you'll find it under program files times A6, Farming Simulator 2017, if you don't get it on Steam. Anyways, once you're there, Steam Apps, Common, Farming Simulator 17, once you're there, you're going to go to Data, and then you're going to go to Shared. Once you're there, you'll see beacon lights right here. You're going to open that folder, and you can see they have six different styles of beacon lights here that you can use. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the first one. So let's open that up. You can just, if you want to, you can go and open through all these and see which one you like best. I'm going to go with number one. So once it's opened, you're going to go and see, okay, so here's the beacon light that we have, beacon style one. So once you've got that, you're going to go file, ex you're going to make sure you select it, then go file, export selection with files, then you're going to navigate to the folder of the mod you're working on. I'm currently working on a van mod, so I've navigated to the folder of that mod that I'm working on. So once you're there, you're going to create a new folder and name it Beacon Model. Or really whatever you like, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to name it that. Then you're going to go in there, file name, Beacon, and then save. And just press no to that. And now you should have the model for your beacon for your mod. So that's really useful. So now I'm going to show you how to use that. So when you're exiting this as well, be sure don't say. Okay, so now go to your mod. And now you'll see beacon model. You got a folder there with the model of your beacon in your mods folder, the folder of the mod you're working on. And now you're going to go and open the i3d file of your vehicle mod, I should say. Now you wait for that to load. When it does, then you can create a new camera. This is just to make sure the outdoor camera doesn't get messed up. Create camera, then view the last camera. Now once you've done that, view camera, last camera, you can go file, import, and go import that beacon that you got earlier. So now that you're in the folder of that beacon you got, you can import its i3d file. Remember that we say beacon.i3d. Open that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to create a new transform group. Create transform group. And then you're going to shift click and click both of these. Control X, cut them, put them inside the model. And then go to this transform group and name it Beacon. So once you got that named, take the actual beacon like model, which you can see this is it, and cut it and paste it into that transform group. Now make sure that the X, Y, and Z values and all these values here for translate and rotate are set to zero for your beacon. Then go to the transform group of your beacon, and what you're going to do is you're going to move it upwards and into the position where you want it. So let's say I want a beacon right here on the top of my van, right in the middle, right there. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to delete this beacon. That's right. We're going to delete it. So just click delete it. And I'll tell you why we're going to do that now. 
So, now save this, save your i3d file, and you can just leave it open for now, actually. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your XML file. So go ahead and open that. I'll open it with Notepad++. And then what you're going to want to do is put a line of code somewhere in your XML for a beacon light. And I'll show you what this code is. Okay, so here's the code you're going to need for beacon lights. I'll put this in the description for you to be able to copy or however I can get that to you. So check the description for this code. Now, you're going to take that code, copy it, and paste it down here, or really anywhere in your XML, but before this tag right here. So before right here. Uh, I messed that up. Well, before there. Okay? So now, you're going to go and paste your code there. And now what you're going to do, so the file name, let's just check that's correct. So file name equals beacon model, so that's the folder it's in, beacon model. So we can see a folder beacon model right here. And that says beacon.i3d. So we can see that there is beacon.i3d right there. Okay, awesome. So our file name is all right. Speed, you can change this to whatever you want to make it go faster or slower. I believe increasing it makes it go faster. Could be wrong though. Okay, so now index. So remember that transform group we made in the i3d file earlier? So go back to your giant setter and remember that beacon transform group? Well, we're going to copy the index path, which you'll find right here on the right under attributes and if you can't see that menu then go to window attributes and then go copy the index path which here is 0, 29 and you're going to paste that in for the index so right there so now basically what the script here is saying is that at this index it's going to import this here file name this file. So basically what's going to do is it go file, import your beacon, cut it, and paste it right in there. And it'll show up on your vehicle. Right there. That's why we moved the transform group into place. Translate Y and Z. Okay, so awesome. So now you just save everything up. Exit everything. Save and exit and you should be good to go so now you can just take all your stuff zip it back up and your beacons should work in game if they do not then go back and refollow the tutorial and verify that you copied everything correctly especially the index path and file names you can always check your log too which is at my documents slash my games slash farming simulator 2017 slash log and then you can go look through that for any errors so yeah that's how to add beacons to vehicles for farming simulator 17 I tried to make it as simple as I could and go through it really slowly for you and yeah I do hope this tutorial has helped you and you were able to add your own beacon if not leave a comment below and I'll try and help you if I can and also stay tuned for more tutorial videos from me in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is Rice Time 901. See ya.